I like that offset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to get this wider, this width in here was what you know what we yeah. needed to get yeah. the jaw as wide as we wanted. Mm -hmm. And it's you know there's there's the regular one. Like anything, they run in cover and they usually shoot up through this field. And of course, these fields usually have something growing in them. There's always tracks here when we show up. The most efficient and effective means of getting your hands on a wolf is by trapping them in one way or another. The traps we use are rubber padded leg holds. They go underground. It's got an offset built into it, meaning when the trap closes, the jaws don't close all the way, and that's filled up by rubber. We try to take advantage of travel corridors and natural scent stations or, or scent marking that they would be attracted to or food bait that's out there and we trick them into stepping into this trap which grabs them by the foot. I don't know exactly where we saw him land. But they landed at least one foot there. So we've really tried to focus in on a predictable trap that does the least amount of damage as possible. Does it hurt? Yeah, I think it hurts. There's animals that, that I can recall in the past, wolves, that purposely would go stick their foot in a trap because there was some big reward behind it. And instead of messing around and trying to get around the trap or get over it, they would stick their foot in the first trap right in front of a roadkill deer carcass. Put their foot in the trap, not fight, walk the trap out, wrap it around a tree and jerk it off their foot and go back and then eat the deer carcass. She did it more than, you know, a handful of times. So that animal learned that it wasn't so bad. It's a little sloppy in here. 